Hi, I'm Judy Litt. Today I want to talk to you about adrenal burnout. You may or may not have heard about this, but I have a really lovely restorative practice that is going to help you fight adrenal burnout. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what adrenal what the adrenals are, what they do, what burnout means. I am by no means a medical professional. I am not an expert on the adrenals, but I'm here to give you a little bit more information. And I'm also going to link up in the description box below a couple of books that I've read recently, or one I started, one I've read, and it's really just kind of fascinating. Um, it's a big talk, but anyway. Your adrenals. They are little glands that sit basically kind of on top of your kidneys and they produce stress hormones. And that is probably why you've heard of your adrenals and heard of adrenal burnout. So they produce cortisol. And what cortisol does, it increases the blood to the brain and the muscles. So Oh my God, I see a tiger and I have to run, right? <laughs> it increases your heart rate and your blood pressure and your breathing. And it decreases the blood to your digestion. Because when you're running away from that tiger, you don't have to worry about digesting your food. You have to worry about that tiger eating you, right? So basically, it helps with our sympathetic nervous system, which is our, you've probably heard of it as your fight or flight uh, uh, fight or flight, whatever, fight or flight. <laughs> um, but in my yoga teacher training, my yoga teacher also added one more to that. So she called it your flight, f fight or flight or freeze system. Have you ever seen a rabbit when you're walking by? We have a lot of rabbits in my neighborhood. So rabbits, when you're walking, when I'm walking my dog, they will just hunker down and they do not move. And that is their freeze. And that's so, you know, the dog doesn't get off his, his leash and go ahead and eat them, which he probably wouldn't do with an adult, uh, an adult rabbit, but he has unfortunately done with baby rabbits. Anyway, moving on. So your healthy adrenals, when they're healthy, I mean, stress is not always a bad thing. So when you're healthy, it also helps to support your thyroid. Your thyroid, of course, helps regulate your metabolism. Everything is connected. Now, if you have too much cortisol, and a lot of us do these days, your blood sugar may increase. Your cholesterol may increase. Um, your chances of heart disease may increase. You may have some memory loss. Uh, maybe not actual loss, but just brain fog. You know, I walked into this room. What the heck did I walk into this room for? I opened the refrigerator. I know I wanted something, right? Um, what else? And it can weaken your immune system. So obviously, if we have too much cortisol, this is not a good thing. It serves its purpose to help us run away from that tiger. But most of us these days are in what my yoga teacher also called um, orange alert instead of yellow or red alert, orange. We're in between yellow where things are going bad and we're not quite at red where it's an emergency, but we're just in this state of constant stress because of modern living, because of the way we live. So the, adren the adrenals can unfortunately burn out. And when they do burn out, that means they are going to stop producing cortisol. Um, this can especially happen for us women who are perimenopausal, penny, ugh, perimenopausal, <laughs> in menopause or postmenopausal, as I am. Um, so the signs that you're in adrenal burnout, lethargy, that feeling like you get up and go, got up and went. I know that feeling very well. Uh, joint aches. And you are often catching whatever is going around, which in these days, we do not want that. 
So obviously you can see that your adrenals are important. We want to support them. They play an important role in our life. But if we are constantly stressed and never relaxing and never de-stressing, we can unfortunately burn those adrenals out and that just leads to a whole lot of things that nobody wants. So how can you support your adrenals? Well, one thing you can do is practice yoga practices that are not stressing you out. Now I do a variety of practices at this channel, but you'll notice the name of the channel is Go With Yin Yoga. So there's a lot of yin yoga. And in the last few months, there's also been a lot of restorative yoga. No, they are not the same thing. They're very similar, but they both have very different outcomes. They both, however, will help you get into your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of your sympathetic nervous system. That is one way to support your adrenals. So we need we need balance in our life, right? You know, it always comes back to that balance. Um, there are good stresses. Exercise, that can be a good stress. Um, oh, I got the new job. I'm moving. It's a good stress, but let me tell you, as someone who's lived in four different states as an adult, moving is stressful. <laughs> So we need to, we need basically our yang, our stress, and we need our yin, the ways we de-stress, which is a slight oversimplification, but you get my drift, right? So I hope you've learned something in this short little adrenal discussion. I hope you will begin to think about ways in your life where you can pull back a little bit, ways that you can relax, you know, other than yoga, there's getting out in nature, there's going for walks, which is exercise, but not pushing myself to the very limit exercise. Um, there's petting your animals, um, you know, getting together with friends. There are all sorts of ways. So I hope you enjoyed this talk. I really hope that you will check out the fight adrenal fatigue restorative yoga work practice that is going to be linked up right after this short talk. Don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this talk go ahead and drop a like. Thanks so much for joining me today.